what is up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel so today we are going to start a series on my channel called truth talk which is a series that I'm going to implement that is going to talk about everything from confidence builders to what's going on in the world pretty much um so today on our first episode we are going to talk about anxiety now i struggle with anxiety and i've struggled with anxiety since i was like 18 years old and it is something that unfortunately i will probably always deal with for my entire life and it is something that I have to manage and you know I'm I know that I'm not the only one and if you are struggling with anxiety you are not the only one and I know right now in the trying trying times that we have from the whole COVID-19 outbreak and with all of um, the protests and everything that are going on with the murder of George Floyd there is a lot of anxiety and I know that people are at home and they're scared and they're anxious and you know it's just it's just crazy and it's chaotic and I'm really looking outside like Jesus what are you doing because I thought 2020 baby was gonna be my yeah <sighs> but I guess we just gonna have to start over in 2021 okay but in this video, I'm going to teach you guys and show you guys my top 10 tricks on how to deal with anxiety. Now, I don't, I'm not on medication or anything like that, but if you have been prescribed by your doctor to be on medication, follow your doctor's orders. These are some simple tricks that I use that you know, I hope you guys can use, you might not need to use all of them. You know, some might work, some might not for you, but these are just the tips and the tricks that I use. So I wrote them down so that I didn't forget. And um, yeah, let's get into this video. All right guys, so first off, I don't know what my hair is doing. Do not judge the color. I still can't go to the hair salon. I still can't go get, I just can't. So we're just gonna ixnay and try to do my best, okay? We're just not gonna worry about it. Okay, so don't come for me in the comments. Like, I know my hair's a mess. I did. Okay, okay. So, number one on my list is to take a deep breath. Most of the time when you are having an anxiety attack or you're really, really anxious, you feel like you can't breathe and it causes our bodies to get even more anxious and then when someone tells you to breathe you're like i'm trying to breathe i'm trying to breathe it's a lot going on but as cliche and as crazy as it sounds the first thing you have to do is to take a deep breath so if that means to splash some water on your face and just kind of take a deep breath and just tell yourself that this is not an emergency it is not an emergency it is not an emergency and it's gonna help you to kind of calm down because as crazy as it is anxiety causes more anxiety which makes it it's just it's it's a cycle that you don't want to go down so that is like my number one thing whenever I'm having any kind of anxiety or a panic attack or anything like that I try to use that it's not an emergency take a deep breath root that that's my go-to and most of the time it works sometimes it doesn't depending on the severity of the attack but for the most part it should work number two with these trying times turn off all social all media outlets so if the news is making you anxious cut it off if social media and the things that are on social media are making you nervous cut it off so sometimes I will have to turn off my social medias I have um, like a screen time thing if you have an iPhone you can kind of delegate how long you're on social media and stuff like that 
and what I'll do is I'll have my screen time set up so that I can only deal with social media for so long because especially with like I said with the stuff going on right now with George Floyd it can be a lot of just anxiety and it makes it really really hard to kind of get out of that mentality so cut off your social medias and it'll kind of help a little bit that's what I do number three number three is to read so for those of you who don't know I'm down with G.O.D. Jesus is my boy and sometimes I'll have to read a scripture read you know a bible verse you gotta you know that's me <laughs> Catrice like when my anxiety is really high you know sometimes I have to read a scripture to kind of like get the word in me to kind of calm me down you know or if you have like a positive book that you want to read if it's Harry Potter if it's you know what other books do they have it's a lot of different books but anyway to pick up a book and read something that can kind of get you out of your own headspace okay so that's another trick yeah another tip number four like I said I'm down with Jesus so I say pray always you know a prayer can go a long way and sometimes if your anxiety is really high if you just simply said Jesus calm my nerves God calm my nerves <laughs> I need you to calm my anxiety calm me down he will calm you down trust and believe you don't believe me try it number five I love this other than my G.O.D. ones but make a playlist make a happy playlist because music speaks to your soul and sometimes when you're really anxious it's a lot going on but just if you have Apple Music Spotify whatever YouTube music whatever music outlet you use to make a playlist so if that means you want to like just have a happy playlist because if you put on some happy music and you start dancing your anxiety eventually is going to subside because now you're focused on something else and not on the anxiety okay number six do some self-care so sometimes when my anxieties are really high i would you know maybe do like a skin care a mask you know go get a pedicure well I can't really get a pedicure right now but normally I would you know or take a bath you know take a nice hot shower whatever it is do some kind of self-care to reinvest in yourself to tell yourself that it's gonna be okay it's to help distract you from all of the chaos and it'll help to recenter you and to relax you and to calm your nerves okay Number seven, 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 is to exercise. I don't really like to exercise, but I do know that sometimes to do yoga, Pilates, some people just need to like do the boxing and the one to punch and get all that anxiety out running on the treadmill, you know, get your blood flow going, get your heart pumping. It just helps to distract you from the anxieties that you're feeling. And when I do work out, it does work. I'm just still in quarantine and I'm a little lazy. That's all, but it's okay. Number eight, eight. I'm remembering my numbers today, guys. Number eight is to watch a movie. A funny movie, if it's your favorite movie, you know, if you want to sit there and cry at a dog's purpose, whatever it is, you know, watch a movie to help kind of, like I said, distract yourself from the anxieties to help get you in a different headspace so then you're no longer thinking about a lot of the things that you're anxious about. Okay. Number nine. Number nine is a little hard because like I said, some states were still in quarantine and stuff like that, but it is to hang out with your family, your friends, your loved ones, 
you know, and sometimes being around other people help to calm your anxiety because you're able to hang out with people who care about you and people who love you and they can kind of get you out of your own headspace, if that makes any sense. Okay, and number 10, I do from time to time, and that is to write down your anxieties. Now we all know people say, oh, write down positive things about yourself and, you know, don't be a, like write down your fears and all that stuff and that's great it works trust me it does but sometimes when you're anxious write down your anxieties and see what you're actually anxious about because sometimes the things that we're actually anxious about aren't that big of a deal but because we're caught up in our own heads we just think it's a big deal and it's not really a big deal so remember guys number one take a breath Tell yourself this is not an emergency and I will get through this. Number two, remember, turn off all media outlets. The TVs, the news, CNN, social media, Twitter, all of that. Turn it off. Number three, remember, read something positive. Whether that's a Bible verse, whether that's a whole Bible chapter, whether that's a book that you're reading, a self-help book that you're reading, something positive that's going to allow you to see something other than your anxiety, to get you focused on something other than your anxiety. Number four, pray. I know it sounds crazy and it sounds too simple, but to say a prayer will save your life. Seriously, I'm not joking. Number five, number five is to make a playlist listen to happy music that in itself is gonna help you happy music makes you happy I don't care that's just what it is hello period number six do a self-care day take a bath nice hot shower do a facial do your toes whatever your whatever floats your boat self-care day number seven why am I doing my thing like this? <laughs> Number seven is watch a funny movie, your favorite movie. Watch a movie to kind of get you out of your own head to focus on something else that distracts you from your anxieties. Number eight. That's eight, right? Eight. Number eight. Are you? If you hear something snoring, it's my dog. She's just sleeping behind me. And yeah, at least she's not barking. Number eight, exercise. Run on the treadmill, take a walk around the block, um, do yoga, whatever floats your boat. Do a YouTube workout or something like that. Just to get that, that anxiety out. Just, ooh burn it out run it out or whatever number nine number nine once we get out of quarantine hang out with your friends or FaceTime your friends you know what's that other one the what's the other one called the part what's that house part is it called house party I don't know my friends are trying to get me to do it but I don't know that house party app where you can kind of see all your friends do a group FaceTime call your mama whatever just get around your loved ones and they hopefully hopefully will help calm your anxiety and then number 10 is to write down your anxieties and if you want to go far enough rip them burn them cut them up flush them down the toilet well if you flush it down the toilet will it clog it i don't i, don't, I hope not I hope not, but write down your anxiety, you know, just to get perspective on what it is that is making you anxious so that hopefully you can either solve what's making you anxious or remove what's making you anxious. All right. All right, guys. So that is it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you guys can use these tips to help with your anxiety, especially in these unprecedented um presidented times oh i hope i said that right otherwise i'm gonna look stupid um but 
I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys like having this new little series on this channel. And if there is any um, topics you guys want to talk about or you have questions about, don't forget to write them down in the comments. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully my hair will look better next time. Bye. Five same color t-shirt. What? 1995. 1995. Seen it.